Alrighty then, Successful Indie Author 5 Minute Focus, Episode 431, Newsletter Swaps. There's family. He wants to go out, so uh, we'll, we'll try to keep this pithy. Alright, you build your initial newsletter by establishing it, whether you use uh, um, MailChimp, MailerLite, SendFox, or any of the myriad other newsletter providers you got to start somewhere, and then you have that link where you can then put people onto that list. Uh, Book Funnel, you can establish the list and link it with certain providers. Uh, if you have no books, you can already start building a list. You don't have to. It helps to have material that readers can read and say, yes, I like this author's style, and I'd like to get on their list. Those are your best subscribers. They are, they are called organic because they came to you organically because they saw your stuff, and they came on board. If you have a book published, make sure back matter, uh, front matter, every matter, no matter what, make sure you link to your newsletter so people can join. They read your book, get them on your newsletter because then you've got them. So whether you publish your next book in a month or a year, you've got this reader who at one time liked your stuff. So you give them a chance to go like more of your stuff. That's what a newsletter is. Swapping, this is a way to expedite your visibility of your titles. If you have no newsletter and nobody on it, it's not really good form to ask people, hey, can you share this on your newsletter? I don't spend any time building mine, but I'd rather exploit yours. It sounds just as cheesy as that if you don't have anybody on your newsletter. You've got to make the effort organic. If you like my stuff, please join my newsletter. I'll share snippets. I'll share these things. All unique. The only place you can get them is on the newsletter. So make sure, do your due diligence in order to share and swap. Well, I just, I'm not published yet. I don't even know where to start. Uh, book sweeps, book funnel, story origin. These are all ways you can get into newsletter builders. And some of them have limits like, oh, you have to already have 500 on your list or something like that. And some of them don't. Look for those that don't when you're just starting out. Make sure you have some kind of sample of your writing. Even if it's only the first three chapters, that's better than nothing. Hey, join my newsletter. I haven't written anything yet, but you really should join my newsletter. If you can make that sale, you can sell anything. I'm telling you. It's easier if you, hey, here's the first three chapters of my book. Please join my newsletter, and uh, then you'll find out when I get done, as I, as I progress, and, and things about my interesting life. You're an author. You're interesting. Embrace that and hold that tight. <clears throat> So once you've started establishing a newsletter, you've got 100, 200 names on there, then you can start looking for swaps. Hey, uh, would you be willing to swap with me? I'll share your stuff, you share mine. That's what a swap is. However, you can swap, swap, and share people's releases without a quid pro quo. Hey, I expect you to swap on my book whenever I publish. How about as you're building your newsletter and as you're writing your book, you say, hey, Here's a book that's like mine. If you like this, then you might like mine, but this one's on sale, so hey, give it a read. Uh, you're helping your readers establish this genre reading, the love of reading within this genre that's yours. So it's not like, hey, if you like their book, you're going to love mine. That's pretty arrogant. Don't do that. But if you love their book, this one might be worth a read, too. It might You might find it entertaining. Okay, good enough. Love theirs, like yours. Not too arrogant. A little self-deprecating, <clears throat> but the genres must align. I get people requesting swaps with me. It's like, you don't write science fiction or thrillers. What, the, what do you want to swap with me for? Because <clears throat> that's my list. I have a thrillers. I have science fiction. Also, as you're setting up your newsletter, parse it, which means the people who come to you organically, make the, send them to a unique list because you can always add two lists to a newsletter. It's not like you always have to send to just one list. You just say, hey, send to this list and this list. Make sure your organic come into a specific list so you know these are the organic. These are the people who came because they liked what they read of mine. Uh, other people, like newsletter builders, make sure... Uh, freaking, freaking earbud keeps popping out. Um, <clears throat> too much pressure in my brain blowing out my ears. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, lost my train of thought. Getting people to swap. <clears throat> Find the genre. The genre is so important. Uh, 
if it doesn't align, you're not helping yourself. All you're doing is getting your book uh, uh, pitched out of the side. And one of the worst things you could do is send a thousand people to your product page and nobody buys your book. Amazon will tank your book in in ways that people can see it because nobody buys it. If a thousand people go and nobody buys it, that does not help you. Amazon's algorithm says, hey, nobody's going to buy this book. Why would we send the people there? So they drive you down farther and farther until you can force people who will buy your book there. So always good things. So genre, make sure they're aligned. So you could pump other people's books. You can send a newsletter a week, newsletter a month. And hey, here's a book on sale. Sometimes a book book bubble pop up and say, hey, this book's on sale. Hey, that's a cool book. Robert Heinlein's Moon is a Harsh Mistress. Let's share that. And uh, I'll put it in my newsletter real quick and say, hey, Moon is a Harsh Mistress is only 99 cents. Get it at your favorite retailer. So then quid pro quo, once you have people on your list, then you can share, do a straight up swap. I have what? I have almost 20,000 people on my list. So I don't expect you to have 20,000 people. But if you have nobody... Me pumping your stuff is probably not going to happen unless I know you. I know this person has done great things for other people, helps out, and has written a great book. Look at this. It's a great book. Then, yeah, maybe maybe we will. So you've got to establish credibility. You've got to establish those chops. Never sell yourself short. But don't say, if you like Craig Martell's books, you will love mine. Don't do that. That's not a good sales pitch. Not to me, anyway. <clears throat> But looking at space adventure, looking at these things, hey, make sure the genre is aligned. And it, and it never hurts to ask, but you've got to have some power in your ask. That's like sharing, hey, shared the last 10 year your uh, uh, things to my growing list, and it looks like I'm getting a good response, and the readers like your stuff, which means they also – and they also like my stuff, so we may have a good alignment here. If you can demonstrate that, then it's a lot easier to get put on somebody's list. Now, what some uh, bigger authors will do with big lists is they'll just take a bunch of swaps and add them in. On uh, your call to action, the very top call to action gets all the, the love. Uh, people don't scroll past about the second or third. So if I say I'm doing a swap with you, I usually don't have more than three calls to action. Uh, because if I'm just going to list a bunch of titles, fourth, fifth, tenth, you're not going to get that. Whoever's tenth, you're going to get nothing out of it. So thank you for sharing my stuff. You got nothing from me. Uh, that's not cool either. So giving a, uh, a a decent share and swap. Establish your creds first. So chicken and egg, right? Well, you got to have the egg before you can have a chicken. So you've got to establish your own creds. You've got to do what you can to build your own list. And you've got to show that you're a team player before you start asking other people to hook you up. Otherwise, it, it looks selfish and nobody wants to be perceived as selfish because we know you're not. Yes, you want to get your books in front of the right readers. Just make sure they're good books in the right genre and that you're asking the right people and that you're helping when you can, even if they turn you down. Oh, it's okay. You don't need to share mine, but here I'm going to share yours anyway because it's a great book and it's it's uh, going to resonate with my readership. That's a great thing to tell somebody. Peace, fellow humans.